They say it's a jungle out there. But they're wrong. It's a battlefield. With no Geneva Convention, these predators fight tooth and nail using every weapon in their arsenal. Camouflage. Firepower. Even chemical warfare. They're some of the world's deadliest predators. And they're locked and loaded. For thousands of years, the sentinels of war have carried one weapon into the knife. Even better, what? Talons, the indispensable weapon of birds of prey. And their primary hunting. Sometimes the sharp talons kill at the initial strike. And that may be the victim's best option. Because if they're not killed outright, the town helps train the animal and prevent escape. The toes squeeze strongly, which can cause death by asphyxiation. The squeezing may also force talons into the flesh. Then the prey succumbs as a loss of blood or organ failure. In the South Atlantic, life seems to have scooped. In the rocky outcroppings known as the Falkland Islands, a talent hunter flies. The striated Caracara. And Alan's Gardens. Juvenile and fierce gangs. They terrorize each other before wreaking havoc on the rest of the island. Karakaras mainly scavenge, and they're not choosy. seals molt, the car snack on dead skin. Anything more they go for. But the fur seal colony provides names for the Kara Kara. Newborn pups. Two moms go fishing. Hunting season opens. And that's when this young Kara Kara learns how to use his talents. The rest of piles up. A swarm of switchblades. Just as Mother returns. to her pup brings no answer. No problem for the Kara Kara. They can still find plenty of other food to sink their talons into. 
seabirds are laying eggs, and caracaras have eagle eyes. Double his hammers. Good protein for a carnivore, but even more when the eggs hatch. Rockhopper penguins have given birth. This time, the talons deploy for a ground assault. Talons grip the turf like a runner's cleats, allowing caracaras to sweep in and steal prey. With its sure-footed talons, the caracaras can't be outrun here or outfought. Back at the nest, the Karakara has its own young to feed. The next generation of knife wielders. Sonora Desert, Arizona. This arid landscape is home to one of North America's most enigmatic talent hunters, the Harris Hawk. In this hostile habitat, prey is scarce, and the Harris Hawks can't count only on their talents if they want to survive. So they have adapted to the desert by learning to hunt together, the only hawk to do so. In fact, Harris hawks exhibit the most sophisticated cooperative hunting tactics documented in birds, more than doubling their odds of a kill. They've set their eyes on a cottontail rabbit. This rabbit is not an easy prey. He is fast and blends well with the desert brush. The squad surrounds the target. To be successful, the hawks will rely on a tactic optimized for a long chase, the relay attack. manages to shake one hawk off, but the others are right behind. Like a wolf pack, the hawks share their catch another unprecedented behavior among birds of prey. This mouse knows that he is no match for the hawk out in the open. His defense a burrow lined with thorns.
For now, the strategy pays off. Knives work only in close quarter combat, so even the sharpest talons have their limits. Knife won't cut it, toxins may be the answer. For humans, chemical weapons are relatively new tools of battle. But in nature, they've been around for millions of years under a different name venom. Potency varies from predator to predator. They also inject their victims in lots of ways from single shot to reusable and with lots of body parts. Fangs, stingers, and pincers. One venomous predator stalks the American tropics. Out of 3,000 species of centipedes, it's the Leviathan, the giant centipede. More than 11 inches long. Through a pair of sharp pincers, it delivers a toxic brew of venom that attacks the nervous system. Painful to humans, lethal to prey. It's armed for defense as well as offense with sharp hooks on the rear legs. It breathes partly through holes in its body, making it prone to dehydration. So it prefers to hunt by night its favorite prey are spiders, birds, rodents, frogs, and lizards. Despite its name, it has 46 legs at most, not a hundred. But they grip like a mountain climber's pitons. Better prospects can be found on the ground. Rodents are a favorite prey. To keep nursing her young, this mother will sooner or later have to go find food herself. Her litter is blind, weak, and defenseless. The centipede is nearly blind as well, but its antenna can detect the tiniest of movements. Sensing the mother's return, the centipede beats a hasty retreat. But she's too late. Her baby's been killed with one heart-stopping injection of venom. And the centipede is off again in search of a meal. A 
Of all the predators that use venom, the most notorious may be this one. The king cobra thrives in the forests and plains of southern Asia. His lethal venom and deadly fangs are renowned. All take caution when he patrols the forest, knowing that a mistaken encounter could turn deadly. In one bite, it delivers more venom than almost any other snake. Enough to kill 20 men in less than an hour. Or the biggest creature in the jungle. But the cobra's favorite food is other snakes. That doesn't make anyone less uneasy, though. They give him plenty of room to hunt. A tree offers an excellent vantage point to spot his next prey. And this rat snake tops the menu. The rat snake grows up to seven feet long, but carries no venom. The cobra can spot prey from nearly 300 feet. And it's found its own lunch. The rat snake detects its namesake prey. But it's unaware that it too is being stalked. is about to be rescued by an unlikely savior. The cobra can detect the other snake's movement through vibrations in the ground, but its direction finder is its tongue. The cobra can strike from over three feet away The rat snake's resistance is futile. The cobra injects deadly venom through its fangs, like toxins through a pair of hypodermics. The venom floods the rat snake's nervous system. First comes dizziness, then sleepiness. Finally, paralysis. The cobra gulps its dinner whole. It can expand its jaws to accommodate a supersized meal, and its teeth also face backward to move the meal along. Digestion is already starting. Venom is eating away at its victim. The rat snake may still be alive, but locked in a coma from which it will never awaken. It's no surprise that venom kills, but it's just part of an arsenal that includes some of the most common and powerful weapons in nature. Teeth and jaws. For some of the world's deadliest predators, the weapon that does all their talking is their mouth. Jaws so strong. 
that few victims ever escape. And so flexible, they give a whole new meaning to open wide. The star of the summer blockbuster, the great white shark. The world's biggest flesh-eating fish. Its weapon of choice, up to 300 serrated steak knives, which grow right from its gums. Each jaw carries several rows of deadly blades that are replaced all throughout its life. Every eight months, new teeth advance from the back of the mouth like bullets in an ammo belt. One of the most wide-ranging predators, it hunts in all seven seas. In waters no higher than your waist, or half a mile deep. It eats dolphins, dead whales, even other great whites. But today, it's going after seals. Maximum surprise and power. The shark floors the paddle. Not all strikes succeed, but the shark rarely misses twice. Each prey fights back, the shark avoids injury by leaving it to bleed to death. Once it's safe, it moves in for the feast. A great white's teeth are designed for stabbing, not chewing. It has no molars, so it grips prey and thrashes its body, twisting off flesh and swallowing it whole. But here's why the great white is really called Jaws. A bite that may pack nearly two tons of force, 20 times the power of the human jaw. But the creature that truly deserves the nickname Jaws doesn't inhabit the deep. The jaws of the rock python seem small, but their power speaks volumes. Growing more than 20 feet long, it's one of the largest snakes in the world. Watch where you step because the rock python will bite if bothered. It eats almost anything it can swallow. Like many predators, it hunts from hiding. Sensors on its snout can detect whether prey is nearby.
Springbok. In a two-pronged attack, the python grips prey in its teeth. Then it deploys another weapon, bondage. Each time the springbok exhales, the python squeezes tighter. Every breath becomes shallower as the python tightens its grip until death by strangulation. Now the jaws really perform. Pythons don't chew prey. They don't even dismember it. They swallow it whole, starting from the head. Jaw power makes it possible. Both jaws are divided in two, a total of four moving parts, all of them flexibly attached to the skull by tendons and ligaments. Each move separately from each other, allowing the python to inhale prey three times wider than its mouth. Its teeth curve inward to keep prey from slipping out. Thanks to such flexible jaws, the python glides over its meal like a sock over a leg. Washboard muscles move prey through the stomach. Its stomach acid is so powerful, it will dissolve bone. The python goes through one of the longest digestions on record. And it may not eat again for a year. The next jawbreaker feeds more frequently. It's the mighty crocodile, found lurking in the warm waters of five continents. It looks like an orthodontist's nightmare. But these gnarly teeth make it one of nature's sharpest predators. is Africa's biggest reptile and the top predator in its rivers. It grows longer than 18 feet and weighs more than a ton. Crocs have the world's strongest bite. more than 5,000 pounds of force per square inch. They use that grip to kill prey by holding it underwater to drown it. They have up to 68 teeth shed and replaced all their lives to keep them sharp. But the croc's jaw isn't built for chewing. Instead, crocs grip the carcass and torque their bodies to twist off flesh. The 
urge to migrate drives creatures like antelope to venture into the jaws of death. But there's no hope against a team of hungry crocs. By feeding together and gripping in unison, they help dismember the carcass. Mighty as those jaws are, they have one weakness. The muscles to open the jaws are so weak, you could hold them shut if you dared try. Some weapons never get used during an attack. They're deployed before the attack. Like fabric in a showroom, camouflage comes in a bewildering array of colors and patterns. And in scales, skin, or fur. Many animals have developed some sort of natural camouflage to either keep them from becoming food or to help them find food. The most clever predators have mastered this weapon to ambush their prey. Chameleons use camouflage for both offense and defense. The newborn is vulnerable. It could make an easy meal for a snake. It seeks protection immediately. Strong natural instincts guide this master of disguise. With a relatively thin and flat body and skin color that can adjust to its surroundings, predators often mistake it for either a leaf or an extension of the tree branch. The ruse continues when it travels. Jerky back and forth movements once again mimic a fluttering leaf, concealing it not only from predators, but also prey. Its eyes move nearly 180 degrees independently to target prey. Once in range, it strikes. Camouflage is only one part of its arsenal. A chameleon's tongue is a concealed weapon. Adult chameleons can reach 27 inches in length. and their tongues may grow one and a half times the length of their bodies. The knob-like tip is coated in mucus that sticks to prey. It strikes faster than you can see in real time, about 30 thousandths of a second. another predator both well-armed and well-concealed, the cuttlefish. This master of disguise has the ability to project a dazzling array of pulsating colors. But if that weren't enough, the cuttlefish also has an extraordinary ability to transform the shape of its entire body.
titan of the species is the Australian giant cuttlefish. Growing nearly 20 inches long and sometimes weighing more than 10 pounds. With such talent for camouflage, the cuttlefish can creep right up to prey. The cuttlefish prepares its main weapon. Two long tentacles tipped with suction cups that capture prey and deliver it to a beak sharp enough to make mincemeat of crab shell. The tentacles fire in a few hundredths of a second. Truly sudden death. Some weapons are meant to be concealed. Others can be brandished quite openly. Claws. They grab and grip. Scratch and gouge. They're useful for digging out a meal or taking it home. Claws are the indispensable weapon of all mammals that hunt, especially the big cats. A lion's claws are like razors, sharp and retractable. Keeping them retracted protects the claws for when they are most needed. As with all cats, the lion's claws play a key role in bringing down prey. Lions have more strength in their paws than almost any other feline. The claws can grow up to three inches. As they get dull, the outer layer sheds, revealing a sharp new claw. Most claws are designed for climbing and digging and catching. But some have bonus features. The pistol shrimp is no bigger than your finger, and it's a crack shot. One of its two claws functions just like a handgun. And other shrimp are targets. When prey is in range, the claw is cocked. The claw snaps shut so fast, it fires a bubble bullet up to 62 miles an hour. The bubble bursts and stuns the prey. It all happens in a fraction of a second the fastest gun in the sea. The pistol shrimp is just one of nature's many gunslingers. Meet the sharpshooters. Some prefer long range combat for their own safety, rather than risk injury by tangling with prey. 
others have no choice but to aim for targets outside their element. Among them, these marksmen shoot a whole battery of projectiles. <laughs> As it wends its way through the rainforest, something captures this velvet worm's attention. No, it's not the fire beetle's flashing green light. Velvet worms are nearly blind, but they're super sensitive to air currents caused by movement. That's how they find their prey. And they love beetles. itself moves so slowly, prey doesn't notice it creeping up. It's packing heat. Two pistols that fire sticky ropes, each up to a foot long. This barrage of gunfire is meant to paralyze prey with a quick drying adhesive. Slimed. The worm brandishes yet another concealed weapon, a knife in its jaw, used to pierce the body and inject saliva to liquefy the insides. The result? A beetle milkshake. In the struggle for survival, there are two alternatives, fight or flight. And one weapon covers either option. are vegetarians, but they can be fiercely competitive when it comes to courting females. And when they combat each other, feet are their weapon of choice. They're armed with extremely muscular hind legs and enormous feet, which help them to execute broad jumps with every hop. This Bigfoot can cross the vast reaches of the Australian outback with ease at peak speeds of almost 45 miles an hour. But one thing can stop this speed demon in his tracks, a potential mate. For days during mating season, a male kangaroo, also called Boomer, will follow a female. He shadows her every move. But there are plenty of boomers out there, and fights between them will break out often. And that's when the weapons are unleashed. starts with a quick right jab, then descends into an all-out brawl. This is not just boxing. It's more like ultimate fighting. A favorite tactic? using the forepaws to grip the opponent and then quickly kicking with their huge clawed hind feet. It's a move that can crush bones, 
disembowel the opponent, even bring death. Fortunately, a referee breaks up this match before it goes too far. But he can't stop the next generation of Joeys from trying some of their own shadow boxing. Nature's battlefields never fall quiet. No treaties, no peace talks, just an endless arms race. Weapons of mass destruction developed over millions of years. Because out here, there's no such thing as a non-combatant. <laughs> 